Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 25th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning fairly early, um, got the dogs all out and taken care of, all the good fun that comes with it, keeping people separated and keeping the dogs apart and all that kind of stuff, because I got the one that isn't good with other dogs, so got up, got that done, got it kind of situated, had more dogs getting dropped off today, so had to try and get some stuff wrapped up in the morning and decided to go ahead and get my run in early, get it over with so I wouldn't have to worry about forgetting about it kind of thing. And then also if the dogs didn't get along as well as I was hoping they would, I would not have to worry about keeping them all apart while I went and try to get my run in. So we got that done, um, got back my run, dogs got dropped off. Um, Another dog got picked up, um, didn't have time to get in the hot tub. I just had too much other stuff going on, but I got everybody all fed as best I could. Um, some of the dogs just are not big eaters when they're in different houses, which is understandable. They're in a new place, new environment, whole new thing. So kind of give them a chance for the food, um, best opportunity I can. If they don't eat it, that's up to them. And then we move on, so. But yeah, end up, um, the dogs got off, had um, basically, um, Got another dog get picked up, so on and so forth. But I had two new dogs I'd never watched before, done a meet and greet with them, getting dropped off. And it was funny because I actually was scheduled to do a meet and greet with the father's dogs, two little dogs, and then he's got the two big dogs, the son does. And uh, they got there, and the father's dogs were pure shit. Like they were awful. And the father presented as if the big dogs were the pain in the ass, and it's not the case in meet and greet. So I said, I'm not watching your little dogs, but I'll watch the big dogs. So son dropped them off. Um, they showed up that day. The one dog had eaten the collar up, a leash or something, and it was. So they came with no collar and a leash. And for the meet and greet, they showed up today. No collar, no leash on either of them. Apparently took them off and washed them, laid them on top of the kennel, and dog shoot pulled them inside the kennel and ate them. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, I don't know. It doesn't make sense. So you have to learn at some point this is a bad at life situation. But got the dogs in there. And I said, well, we kind of need collars and leashes. You know, definitely at least need collars because one, I hang lights on them at night. They're outside so I can see them better. But mostly, if things were to pop off and go wrong and have like a dog squabble or dog fight, I need to be able to have something to get a hold of quickly to separate them and or minimum, I need something to put a leash on too real quick to be able to pull them away and guide them to where they need to be the next you know part of the house or whatever whatnot so i end up making um quick little basically um leash collars out of leash the head and slipped them over him so at least had something there he also realized he was almost out of food which you're going on a week-long trip how do you not plan this stuff better now so he's like i go run buy food i'll bring it back to you kind of thing and i'm like yeah, you gotta be shitting me so I was like, okay, so he ran um, to Publix and bought some dog food, which I don't know if it's the same dog food he had before because I haven't opened the bag to see if it is or not, but the stuff that's been feeding him does not appear to be the same, so I'm going to have to like rotate it in slowly, which is going to be a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. So he also picked up a couple collars and leashes or whatever. It's a bag full there, but at that point I already had found some. And the best part is he's carrying the smaller female in because they don't stay with him. He has to, like, without collars and leashes, he carries them into the house. And he looks at his hand and realizes that his dog is bleeding. So she's went into heat. And I was like, oh, you got to be shitting me. So I'm like, I was pretty certain I asked if these things were fixed. And, of course, they didn't fill out information on the paperwork and stuff. So kind of is what it is there. And I'm like, great. So now I got this puppy, or not a puppy, she's a full dog, but some stuff that is in heat. I'm like, this ought to be interesting. Luckily I have no intact males at this time, but even non-intact males will get much more, um, I guess, frisky, risque, um, a little more aggressive, a little more obsessed with in heat dogs. So I'm like, well, worst case, you know, dog's just gonna have to kind of live a lone life like the she dog did that was aggressive that I have to keep apart. So. Not what I was wanting, but well, I figured it out and go from there to this point. Like, they were leaving on a cruise, and I'm just like, holy crap. So, looked into getting some diapers, so I went ahead, and of course, there was none at, like, Publix or whatever, because why would the Publix have doggy diapers, but it is what it is. So, looked online, uh, found the cost. He um, basically cashed out me 20 bucks, whatever, for the diapers, so we'll see if that helps any or not, and see how that works. So... Who knows? It kind of is what it is, but we're just going to be outside for a good chunk of time. He did bring kennels, but the kennels he brought, the crates are like they've, I'm assuming they've tore up the bottom plastic because there's no plastic in either one of them. Both of them are pretty beat up, pretty lousy shape. The one of them, the lock's already broke on it on the bottom lock, and I'm like, oh, you got to be shitting me. This is crazy. Such just 
I don't know, such lack of care and lack of concern for your animals and providing them good quality stuff makes no damn sense in life at all. I really don't get people, so kind of is what it is. But the dogs got outside. Um, I put the rest of the dogs in, let them outside for a little bit, and started introducing dogs one at a time to them. Everything went smoothly. There was a little bit of issue. One of the dogs was kind of, well, he's, but he's always that way when he meets a new dog. He's always kind of a little bit grumpy, a little bit um, of a turd head. So he had to get a little bit of correcting and then he's able to move it out. They're a little bit obsessed with her being in heat. Just coming in, it wasn't quite so bad, but it's not great. So, but everybody got along good um, for the most part. I didn't have to go out and run again, so I was able to stay with him 24 seven at that point on the rest of the day. So it worked out well. And then basically just kind of keep an eye on them. Everybody got along good. Everybody's getting along great. Um, had two more dogs get dropped off, so I got a handful of dogs here at the house right now. So the um, aggressive dog went home which freed me up another room in the house if I had to separate people out, or separate dogs out, I guess, best way of putting it. And then basically hung around for the day, played a lot of fetch. The new dogs like to play fetch quite a bit. The female who's in heat has got like, I'm assuming hip issues. Um, her hips are real kind of wonky. She'll run kind of funny. She'll run decent, but she walks funny. And then when she sits down, she sits all like super cockeyed and weird like. It's really strange, but so we can do is just keep letting her do what going to do. So, so far it's been going pretty well. Uh, everything went well. We ended up having, for dinner, ended up doing frozen pizza. Mom ended up having a burger and Karen had a frozen pizza as well, but I ended up having a barbecue um, pizza that I'm a big fan of that they don't like. They think it's too spicy, so no one else eats it. So, I ended up eating too much because it's a big size and ate it by myself. It's not that big, but it's way bigger than party pizza. And usually party pizza is my full meal. So, but it's not good enough to reheat and I didn't really feel like throwing it away, so I just ate it and so that was So, but yeah, knocked that out. Um, got myself a nice little meal. Ended up back outside the dollars, get everybody kind of separate out and get them all fed. Um, I put the crates up in the office and basically it was in the office and fed them. And the one dog, like, just started going crazy, started bouncing the crate all around and losing her damn mind. I was like, oh, you got to be shitting me. You got to feed in the crates and stuff. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I'm like, well, that's not gonna go because there's no liner or nothing underneath it. And she was, I'm just gonna tear my floor all to hell. So I thought about it and I'm like, well, my garage is insulated and he's been cool and it's beautiful weather right now, actually. So I was like, screw it, let's set them up in the garage so we can go over the concrete floor in there and they're feeding and stuff and go from there. And then that worked out decent. I went ahead and tied the crates together so they couldn't shake around and stuff, tied them to the wall so they couldn't vibrate them all around and like hit my side of my car and that kind of thing. And that way we're in there feeding and chasing the food around. We'll see how it goes. And it did fine. It wasn't great, but the moment she was done eating, she started whining and crying and really kind of a pain in the ass and whatnot. So kind of is what it is. But went ahead from there, got right back outside. We hung out um, after I had dinner. Hung out back outside, played around a little bit. Um, played a lot of fetch, lots and lots of fetch. And it was a cool evening. Um, Ended up just trying to stay warm. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. So, yeah, I'm out there, had myself a nice cigar, finally headed in for the evening. Um, ended up giving myself a little snack. And the one of the two dogs, the, the shepherd thing, is like whining and howling and just pacing and just won't settle down. So, I tried multiple different things, including I was like, well, let's go sleep on the couch closer to her. Maybe she'll settle down a little more and stuff and whatnot. And, it was not the greatest night for sleep, but she eventually quieted down. I put a uh, noise, like a white noise machine, little speaker I have, that I set up there next to her, and that seemed to help settle her down a little bit. And it finally got to where she was able to calm down. So, yay, all the fun. So, yeah, it's one of the things about new taking new dogs, and it kind of sucks about doing that with multiple day stays. But that's what I do for a job, and everyone's small, everybody's job kind of sucks a little bit. So. This is where mine sucks. Sucks at night with sleeping. In the day, the dogs are perfectly fine, except the one is leaking around the house, so it's always kind of a bad thing. But overall, pretty good so far. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.